Richie still reads scripts. No matter how much they try, they can't hide it. The war, I mean, a uh, rapture will happen first. They'll sell it on the news. They'll say that millions of people disappeared. Clothes will be left everywhere all over the place. And, uh, and then war gets ushered in. And then, uh, then the collapse of the economy. None of these storms are real. They're not from God. They're all man-made. And, uh, except for May 22nd, 2011. And the same with the earthquake. The final earthquake will be a real one. These are all my opinions. I don't have facts. Don't take my word for it. Or do. I don't care if you like my video, if you dislike my video, if you share, or subscribe. I don't care. That is a good reason why uh, they watch you. Because they, they're they sick of seeing actors acting, pretending, being fake. So they want to see real reaction from real people. They do. It's creepy, but it's true. It used to bother me. But now I understand. That's not the only reason why. But it's one of the reasons why. I don't blame them. You just get tired of fake, phony people. Because you know they're acting. But see, here's the thing. Now, when people know that they're being watched, they might start acting. You never know. But the same reason why Satan doesn't want you to believe that he exists is the same reason why the elite really don't want you to know that they truly are watching you. And they don't want you to know that their puppets are highly trained reviewers also. One of the dumbest features that cars have is the button that you push when you come to a stop sign, a stoplight, I mean, and it shuts off. And then you have to push the button to start it back up because they're trying to save gas. How much money can you possibly save in gas stopping at a stop sign? I mean a stoplight. Point zero point zero 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 one cents per minute. That don't you waste more energy starting the vehicle back up? Don't you put more wear and tear on the starter? I never could trust people that wear sunglasses all the time. Especially when you're talking to them face to face. Because you can't see their eyes. They're always hiding something. Trust me. Or don't. I just consider myself an episode a half hour a day for the elite. They watch my videos for a half hour each day. Minimum. And, uh, and I think they get a kick out of it. I know I would, if somebody had a sense of humor, if somebody caught on to what they're doing, understands that, you know, you're just being watched at every corner, people are stalking you, they're doing their little tricks and stuff and doing U-turns and whatnot, and you just bit off them, I think that's entertaining. You sh should probably start sending me some, some money for this, okay? Send me a check, all right? I'm sorry. Send me gold bitcoins. Or don't. Uh, I thought we cut. You know what the elite gets? They get the unedited version because no matter what, however long your videos are, if you're editing, pausing, or if you make a video and you don't upload it, they still get to see it. It's called the bloopers. Oh, that's right. I can't preach with a hat on. Because, literally, uh, you can't preach with your head covered, okay? Which means you can't wear anything to cover your head, Robin, okay? Right, gotcha. I create my own entertainment. I don't need to watch TV. I don't remember the last time I watched this, a stupid television show of any kind of sitcom of what sort because it's not funny none of them are everybody's reading the script and you know what Ely I do truly understand why you would want to watch real people because it makes me sick too when people have to constantly read scripts
I'm hunting you guys. I am hunting you guys down. And I'm going to slay your spirit. Why would God give you a pineal gland inside of the middle of your brain and say, Don't touch it. Maybe because he said don't touch the fruit of the tree that you weren't supposed to eat from because then you might know good and evil. I don't know. I mean, that could be an argument. But it truly is your GPS. It's your third eye. It's the one that is spiritual. It's the one that God sees through. That's why he knows what you're doing at all times. This time last year, I was sick to death. Uh, about what was going on now man what a difference a year makes I am thrilled to death I was sick certain days now I'm not I never stepped a foot in high school not one day I called it quits after 8th grade I just didn't feel like being brainwashed anymore plus I had an option whether or not I was going to school. I chose no. I think it had something to do with the uh, the monkeys. They tried to tell us we evolved from monkeys. It didn't feel right ever since that point that I seen that and I said, what's that? Oh, we, we evolved from monkeys. We, we used to be a monkey and then we kind of arched ourselves back up. And uh, so there's that. I don't think so, it doesn't make sense. The only reason I got a GED is because I got locked up when I was 17 years old for eight months in uh, Slayton Farms in Lima, PA. And I walked in. Mind you, I was one of the only three white kids there out of 500 people, okay? I held my own. Didn't have to get into a fight because you know what I did? I minded my own business and I just focused on what I had to do. And all of the people that watched me walk down the road, you know, because you yo, new meat, white boy, new meat. Hey, white bread. All yeah, right, yeah, okay. That's Hey, look, that's fine. That's fine. You'll see. Eight months later, those same people. See us later. Hey, peace out. White bread is out of here. And because my family was poor, the trade school gave me a scholarship for free. They actually paid me to go to school, which is amazing, like $450 a semester. So I caught a break. I skated straight through without having to go to high school and graduated right before my 20th birthday to become a carpenter. That's how God looks out for you just does. Matter of fact, my roommate was a black kid from the place that I was locked up at. Well, for the first couple months and then he went on a home pass and, uh, well, he stole all of my, um, belongings. Uh, my socks and everything. Yeah, it was pretty, um, it was pretty rude. I got everything back. You know, I just called the cops and they, they got all my stuff back. And it, as a matter of fact, I, as, as I'm reminiscing, when I worked, I worked at Pizza Hut when I was locked up, 17 years old, 16, 17. And uh, after two months of being locked up, for the next six months, I worked at Pizza Hut. Every, just about every day. I would get out, I would go, and the guy's name was Tate, the kid, whatever. He's, he was cool. I mean, look, I got along with everybody. It's just that at first, they test you. Kind of like the stalkers do. They test you to see, what are you made of, Robin, huh? And then they're like, oh, uh, you know what? He's pretty cool, man. It's, he's a cool white boy. I get along with all races. I'm not racial. I don't have hatred in my heart. I have love in my heart. That's why I'm giving a heads up to everybody. Whatever happens to me, happens. I don't care. I was already beheaded for the word of God and the testimony which I held. My spirit has already been slain. 
John seen our souls under the altar. I was killed and my fellow brethren and servants have to be killed the same way that I was. I like bread and butter and I also like toast and jam. Staying consistent is key. Consistent. I have my twin in front of me with a bad tail light. Even though it's not my twin, but it's the closest that they can do. I mean, it's the closest that they can do. That guy is bald. I would shave my head if I were you. I'm just saying. I lost my hair when I was 17 years old. Matter of fact, I had to go through that going into the trade school. It was embarrassing. Uh, it was, uh, I didn't understand it. It was very clear. It was very clear. It was very uh, odd. It was very unusual and it was very peculiar. Kind of like her. I had a pretty low, uh, pretty rough life, uh, rough life. Growing up as a kid, always dirty and always scraggly and poor and and uh, bad teeth, holes in my teeth, front teeth. Uh, didn't know I was supposed to brush them, but I'm glad I did. It kept me connected to God more. No fluoride, not my pineal gland was not clogged up, and didn't know anything about it. That was my connection. And then, uh, and then once I got my teeth fixed, well, then my hair fell out four years later. It just, it was like a never-ending battle. And then, once I started to get a little bit of confidence with that, then I, my kid's mom with her, and she was literally, um, now, you know, what I'm going to say is this. I love her, and I wish her the best, and I always did, I always have, I always tried Believe me, I tried for years, and it just never worked. So, I'm starting to wonder, was she part of this program? Was she assigned to me? Because you want to talk about your life being a living hell? It was. You know, Richie said it before that in one of his videos, when he said that, it was around time when he said that, look guys, there's no more birds in the air. There's no more robin birds. That was a shot at me, for sure. And, uh, but he said that one of the reasons why, like, people are being stalked is because they always wanted to be famous. So now, it's because of them that want to take selfies of themselves and post videos. That was the reason why that the elite is now watching them. That was his uh, script that he read. I was born in Florida, and I lived there for five years, the first five years of my life. Moved back to Philly from six, seven, eight, nine, and then moved back to Florida again at 10 years old. And then moved back to Philly, 11 <clears throat> and 12 years old, and then moved to Kensington, and then Port Richmond, and then uh, I eventually moved on my own to get the help out of the bad, dirty lands to the Northeast. And, uh, and then that's when I wind up having a kid when I was 25. Yeah, she trapped me. Every president is handpicked. Uh, your vote doesn't matter at all. It counts, it just doesn't matter. Will Smith said it in that movie, uh, was it The Purge or something like that? He said, remember, we're the bad guys. Yeah, I know Will. He's from Philadelphia too, but he's a traitor. Why do you think Carlton is on like talk shows and Will Smith does major hit movies? You ever think of that? Why? I actually thought Carlton was funny. See this police station up here? This is the police station that beat the piss out of me. And I winded up catching five counts of F1 felony aggravated assaults on police officers. 
when they whooped my ass. But I shouldn't have been stealing, so that's what it was. I tried to steal a car radio. That was it. I ran, made it worse. I didn't really love everybody last year, especially my enemies. Now I do. You notice how Plankton had AI as a wife? Remember that? It's crazy. You know, the elite, they just need somebody to love them. That's all. Because they know that the people that show them love, well, they're full of shit. Because they're just kissing their ass. Richie still reads scripts. It's amazing. I'm not reading a script. It's amazing. I amaze myself sometimes when I, when I pretend that I'm not. It's amazing to me that I don't even have to read a script. It ain't like I have the scripts being read inside of my freaking glasses. It Technology can't possibly make that happen, can it? Uh, he's still in front of me. He's going in the direction I'm going. It's been about eh, 15 good minutes so far. If it's not the same Camaro, just as long as it's black. If it's not the same Chevy truck, just as long as, it, as it's black. If it's not a black Chevy truck, just as long as it's the same Chevy truck. It can be blue, it can be white, it can be red, it can be whatever. It has to be the same either color, and if not, if they can't pull that one off, then just get the same make and model. Because all of a sudden he's pulling out, leaving, and Mr. Taillight, one guy, Taillight man, is still going in the same direction that I'm going. Making a left. I'm just saying. The Elite also, they need to be amused. So that's why they created shows, comedy shows. But what they're seeing is these shows aren't funny. Because it's all fake. It's more funny when it's not fake. Everything in the sky that's trying to act like uh, God's original creation is surveillance. I've seen a few chemtrails today. And then this is what the sky turns into afterwards. They will show you some chemtrails, and then this is what happens. And then they try to get you to believe that the chemtrails is what created that. Nobody wants to tell you that it's images. Nobody. That I know of anyway. You know, like the big time channels on YouTube, they ain't saying that. What does it truly mean to have your head covered? Well, obviously it means hiding something. Not literally, spiritually. Now, if it said something like, don't have your eyes covered, well then people would be going after Richie and say, hey Richie, stop covering your eyes. You can read the Bible literally if you want to. You're just not gonna get anywhere. God's coming with the clouds, so they're gonna mimic clouds. Not knowing that it really means judgment. God is coming with a great earthquake. Not knowing that the quaking of the earth is awakening people out of their freaking graves because they were spiritually dead at one time. God is coming with fire. He's reserved for fire. The earth is reserved for fire. Not knowing that fire proceedeth out of the mouth of God's children. Not toddlers. Angels were created to be ministering spirits, not to have sex with humans. The giants of the earth are the ones with giant ass bank accounts. They're always slumped over and like this. All of them. I finally figured out my purpose here on earth and it's to relate a message to the elite that God loves you and he wants you to turn to him. Sure! <laughs> exchange keys! We'll just exchange keys. <laughs> okay. See? Just regular people in the world. Not everybody's evil. 
Not everybody has a problem with everybody. Thank you. Get ready for hollow ween. Hollow ween. It's going to be very hollow. And we're going to wean off of everything. How can the earth spin when it's God's footstool? When you get a footstool, do you go out and buy a spinning globe to put your feet on? Or is that not literal? How can a man have sex with an angel? A human with an angel? Hmm? Messenger is translated also as an angel, and angel is translated also as a messenger. And when you have fallen asleep, you, and you have a message, you are considered a fallen messenger. Stars are also considered angels. And when the stars fall from heaven, they're gonna make stars fall from heaven, but it literally doesn't mean that. Stars, angels, you know, when that fifth trumpet sounded and a star fell from, uh, from heaven, that was a literal angel that fell from heaven because it was Satan. Two witnesses represents Judah and all of Israel. Hollywood watches us now. We used to be considered the prey. Now we're the predators. They used to hunt us. Now we're hunting them. And we're killers because we kill souls. Not literally, we're not murderers. We're not trying to kill you. We're trying to slay your soul with the fire that preceded out of our mouths and the fire is God's judgment guys they've been spraying all day long chemtrail colitis out there and the sun's not even out but I need my shades anyway look 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 see look look see a bus just drove by me it's real guys don't let Robin Hood's tell you otherwise I swear I'm freaking driving and I didn't even do this with a strip. I, sometimes I amaze myself that I, that I didn't even do this with a strip. It's amazing that I can actually think on the top of my head. I, I just seen a brand new Mercedes with one headlight out. Sure. I didn't put the headrest on. I put this leather on myself. Uh, it used to be cloth. And it was cheaper to do this and just put it on yourself. So I made it look like the old school Camaros with the no headrest. I don't know if it's legal. Who knows? Wait, what am I thinking? I wear a seatbelt, okay? Unlike some people that we know. Or we don't. You ever wonder how dogs can just sit there and do nothing all day long? And they're perfectly okay with that? And then they're perfectly okay with going outside? And then they're perfectly okay with coming back in. And then they're perfectly okay with eating. They're perfectly okay with being done eating. They're perfectly okay with going back and laying down. They're perfectly okay all day long, every day of their entire lives. That tree needs to shave. It's got some fungus growing on it. That's where they got the name from. I have tunnel vision. Do you know how clouds move, right? Okay. Because they, they're supposed to go in their directions. Well, these clouds don't move. And when they spray the skies, well, you know, the, it sprays and it moves along. It just moves along and goes into the next city. These... Well, when they want to show you that they're spraying in the skies and then they show this crap, it's not, it isn't what it is. Look at this line. Rising sun. At Adam's Ave. Rising sun and Adam's Ave. It's all a lie. I'm telling you, I'm driving. I mean, I'm sorted. I'm like, I'm in traffic right now. But I'm definitely driving, guys. See? 
I, I have a steering wheel. It turns. Look, look, come on, look. See, it moves, it turns around. It's not my kind of music. What's that? Where are you possibly driving to all this time? They know where I'm going. Moses had a stick too. Do you think it was a magical stick? Probably not. You know why they literally make football domes? When they play football inside of the field and then you put a dome on top of it? Did anybody ever think of that? You know, in the Truman Show, the true man show, they showed us everything we need to know. They showed us the fake sky. They told us it was fake. They showed us the fake water, the fake life. The, uh, the stalking, stalkersons, stalking you your entire life. It's all out in the open. It's just 20 years ago that movie was made. I never thought anything of it until probably a month ago when somebody even mentioned the movie. If your knowledge doesn't change, it means your knowledge didn't increase and you're stuck in the mud. I noticed that the Jonathan Kleck guy always wears a hat and Derek Rose, the global witness guy, always wears a hat. I don't know if they're bold or not. But I haven't noticed, I never watched a Jonathan Kleck video. It's ever like a minute to see who he was and then uh, the Derek Rose guy watched a few couple said saying some things that you know most people aren't saying which I kind of dig I like when people are saying different things uh, now again there's supposed to be this Gnostic teaching in the end days also but I just believe that if you're trying to change up Jesus Christ and his name it's a big mistake because I turned to Jesus Christ and prayed through him to God and uh, my prayers have been answered I wouldn't m even think for a second to try to change the name and pray to any other name besides Jesus Christ Yahushua, Yahshamalak, Yahashawishesu whatever man he has many names but his name to me is Jesus Christ and thou art my heavenly father it's that simple but I can see where people when they read the Bible literally and they see someone wearing a hat Robin you're not a you're supposed to freeze your freaking bald ass head off in the winter uh, as you're preaching okay because the Bible says thou shall not wear a hat your head shall not be covered yeah, that's why God left me with no frickin' hair. You're welcome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. No problem. It feels good to give, no matter what. Here's the thing. We're all gonna be in the same boat. Whether we're poor, rich, free, or bond, it doesn't matter. Because we're all going to taste poorness. The ones that are already poor, it won't even affect. The ones that are filthy rich, man, the ones that don't know how to let go, they're going to have a tough ass time dealing with this collapse of the first beast. That AM TV guy, right? The Christopher guy? He, uh, not sure why. Oh, this guy is blocking traffic. Completely. Purposely. That guy, he's really pushing silver, gold, Bitcoin, some square block change something or another because he truly believes that the economy is going to collapse and he's right because he has inside scoop thank you
holding up traffic on purpose. Looking at his phone, seeing if I'm drive by. Oh, he's good. Okay. I guarantee if I pulled over right now and waited, he would pull off. But anyway, back to that guy. He's really pushing it. Pushing it. Because he truly believes that life is going to continue on as it always is. And uh, God just ain't really, you know, he ain't, he ain't really real. I mean, he's kind of there. But he's not really going to do anything about it. And we all just have to suffer. Okay, So that's why he truly is pushing that. Same thing with Richie. Look, those 450 prophets that were slain by Elijah, by the sword, his mouth, the tongue, the fire, they believed the same thing. And I would be willing to bet, even though I'm not a gambler, that... These are all the same false prophets, the same exact spirit that was living back then is living right now. And they just don't know any better because they're all listening to Ahab and Jezebel. Because Jezebel is a harlot and she's teaching God's children, his servants, or whatever you want to call the ones that aren't really paying attention, but we're all his children she's teaching them the wrong doctrine the doctrine of Baal so that's what they believe and all I'm trying to say is it's not going to be that way it's not going to continue on as always and the world is seven years behind in this tribulation we're right there at the very turning point I can't even say it's the end it's the turning point there's always a turning point a, a turning point in the Bible where people, God's people, are surrounded like the Red Sea, like Elijah when he was just going there to warn them and tell them, look, you're worshiping the wrong God. Worship the one and only true God and believe in Him. That's all you guys got to do, elite. You want to live forever? You don't have to upload your brain into computers. Just turn to God. Ask Him to forgive you for what you're doing and repent and turn completely away from it and stop sinning. We were all created to live for an eternity anyway. So I believe you guys, your spirit is the same as the ones that actually killed Christ. You guys might even be the, the same King Herod and all that are living in these days now. This time, you're going to finally learn your lesson.